join us. Hey, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors, welcome to another Black Series action figure review. We've got the latest two-pack, one of the latest two-packs, there has been a couple come out recently. This is the second one to hit shores in Australia. We did do the uh, Super Battle Droid and the Battle Droid just over a week ago. Um, but yeah, we've got Mace Windu from the Clone Wars and the 187th Legion Clone Trooper, which is pretty exciting. I'm hoping... I'm hoping this guy gets a uh, individual release so we can get a couple more. Um, don't really need any more Mace Windows. I've got all three versions of Mace in the Black Series. Um, and yeah, as always, take a look at the packaging. We'll take a look at the uh, accessories that they come with once we open it up. We'll take a look at the uh, paint apps, the articulation, and then we'll do a little bit of a comparison too to some of the other, other releases, mainly of Mace, um, being that there are two. And there's not a lot of difference between them, but we'll take a look at them anyway. So yeah, we've got a good picture of Mace Windu there. I think it's a no-brainer that we get some sort of Clone Wars versions. Um, I recently did a custom Plo Koon, which I do need to do a bit of a video of. Um, but I dare say, you know, he'll probably be slated for release at some point. Maybe with a Wolf Pack Trooper to go with Commander Wolf, or an updated Wolf. And there we have the Clone Trooper on the side, 187th Legion. Really nice. We have had a 187th Legion already in the Black Series. It was an exclusive to, I think it was Walgreens a couple of years ago. But that was using the sort of uh, brownie maroon sort of colour tone. Um, whereas this is more... Uh, sort of Hasbro went back years ago and decided that Mace would have a battalion of troopers with purple. And uh, I think it looks really good. Nice striking colours. On the back, a little bit of a read up on the back there if you like, along with the artwork. Really nice art there. I think it looks good. And technically, technically number one in Clones of the Republic. But uh, yeah, I, I, I think this should have come in, you know, just Clone Wars packaging, but it is what it is. Either way, let's bust it open and take a look at these cool figures. All right, folks, here are the figures out of the packaging. And uh, yeah, like I said, accessory-wise, we'll get rid of those first up. We do have the longer blaster rifle, um, sort of cast in a sort of a dark gray, almost that sort of brownie gray sort of color. I'd rather it just be a solid black, but that's okay. Um, I've got enough spares if I want to swap out for a, uh, a nice solid black rifle. Even some of the ones with the extra paint details, I can do that. Um, and then this smaller blaster rifle. So they're the, they're the two weapons that come with the clone. So yeah, pretty pretty much standard accessories for, for the clones at the moment. And Mace Windu does come with his lightsaber that we've seen, seen before. So this one does have a peg on the hilt. But I have seen some other reviews that point out he doesn't have a spot to hang it. So... <laughs> I've seen people taking a uh, small drill bit, just making a making a little notch in his belt so you can peg in the blade, which I think would be a cool look, uh, given that the other two Mace Windu figures um, you know, that I have on the shelf both have ignited blades. So just for something different, I might end up doing that myself. So would, we're going to take a look at the clone first, so then when we do the Mace, we can have a look at the comparisons. So yeah, basically we're going to take a look at the paint applications. This is probably the highlight of this figure, honestly. I, I really like the purple. I think it looks really striking. I'm definitely going to stand out on the shelf amongst the other clones. And there are a couple of elements of this sort of aquamarine blue. There's a couple of striping on the arms, on the upper thigh there, and then around the helmet. As opposed to like a, a grey or a blue or being all purple. And then the uh, sort of the brow line there is in that sort of aquamarine, sort of dark, dark colour. But then all the purple highlights, they pop out really, really nicely. You know, this is the, this is the third iteration of the Clone Trooper figure. Um, so we've had Sergeant Apo, um, the new release with the... Uh, the 501st Legion and the 332nd 2-pack, they're both using this mould. Um, and yeah, the most recent clean Phase phase 2 Clone Trooper is using this body build as well. So yeah, complete pinless, moves nicely. All the, uh, the knee parts 
are sort of independent. They're not sort of stuck on either leg or thigh. Well, in this case, they are. I thought they were quite. I thought they were loose, but um, at least the straps are sort of independent, so you, you can get a lot of movement out of them. Um, yeah, find it to just be an extremely superior clone trooper mold. Uh, the helmet is removable, which is nice. We'll get a look at his head sculpt. I like what they're trying to do. They're giving him a little bit of distinguishing features, such as the little scar above the brow, and then a couple of other marks there. So I wonder if that's intentional, whereas each each release of clone is getting a you know ever so slight little different markings just to differentiate them a little bit. I didn't think his hair might be a little bit different, so they're sort of the eyes do look a little bit off. Maybe that's just me, because on, on camera it looks okay. But it does look good. I feel like maybe the neck's a little bit longer than it has been in the past with other figures. But again, I could be mistaken. That just could be my eyes playing tricks on me at the moment. Because when the helmet's on, it, it uh, sits quite fine. Like, it's... That looks good. So yeah, there's no no big problems there. I think that's all right. And it's nice that the uh, you know the helmet. It's a softer plastic. It's you know got a little bit of malleability to it, but it's not enough that's going to you know fall out of shape. It holds a good form even when it's on the head, which is nice. You can sort of see the the silver on the. I like to call them the teeth. The teeth of the helmet there. A nice little bit of reflectiveness to it. As well as the connections for the, the breathing hoses or whatever. Or the speakers. <laughs> so he's nice. Articulation wise, he does have a ball and socket in the top of the head. He does have the neck joint, which is also ball and socket. Uh, it's got the ball hinge in the elbows. Got the butterfly joint there. Got the ball hinge in, or the hinge joint in the elbows. Swivel in the forearm there. In the, not the forearm, bicep. <laughs> I've got to learn my anatomy. Um, swivel in the wrist and a hinge, in and out hinge on that wrist. And up and down hinge on that wrist. Does have the torso joint there. Does have the ball and socket in the thighs. Got the swivel at the armor cut there in the thighs. Nice joint there in the knee, hinge joint there in the knee. Gets a little bit more than that 90 degree, which is fantastic. And then we get the hinge in the ankles and of course that sort of rocker in the foot. So yeah, it's a nice, another nice addition to the clones. I don't I don't do the clones as much as I, I have in the past. Um, yeah, like I said earlier in the video, I'd like to uh, I'd like to see this guy single packed, maybe with a pauldron or something to set him set him apart. But yeah, we'll take a look at Mace Windu now. We'll do a little bit of a comparison. So yeah, not a lot different going on here to the previous releases. Obviously the the head sculpt doesn't need any changing. It's it's good. It looks like mace. You know, the, the Jedi robes itself isn't any different. Still using the same same legs from the early release. You know, why change it? But at the same time, could have, could have done with a little bit of an update. So you got the double jointed pinned pin joints there. Thankfully. All the other pins are sort of hidden. They don't really, they don't really stand out too much. Let's be honest. I uh, was using the same forearms as the previous Clone Wars Mace Windu, which was the Gendi Tartakovsky sort of inspired version. This time he's got the Jedi insignia there on the gauntlet, which is nice. So otherwise, pretty much the same. I'm not seeing any major differences here. Maybe some slight color shading colors. 
I can tell you for a fact that as the Clone Wars progresses, dark Mace Windu's boots do get darker. So we'll bring in this one as a comparison. This is the Getty Tartakovsky version. You know, just looking at the skin tone, it is it's a little bit darker on the uh, on the previous Clone Wars version. And if we bring in the standard mace, yeah, there's definitely a slight change in the skin tone with the new one in the middle there. A little bit lighter in tone, but you know, that's that's fine. But yeah, definitely sharing the, the same elements there as the as the gauntlets. Uh, he's got the clone clone hands, which is understandable. And yeah, the boots go from like a caramel to a light chocolate. To a dark chocolate, so he just does does go through some boots, depending on his mood. And you can kind of see there is a slight difference there in the uh, colours of the robes too. He does go from like a more vanilla latte to a to a cafe latte. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how to describe that. Fifty Shades of Brown. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, it's definitely the same head sculpt on all three. Yeah, just a slight change in the, the colour of the plastic. Which, you know, it looks different in different lights anyway. But yeah, still looking good. But yeah, the figure is pretty much the same. There's less detailing on the belt for the new one, as you see on the left. The little cartridges aren't painted on, missing the, the little studs on the belt. But you do get the little Jedi emblem though, so you know if you've got a silver sharpie you could probably just cover over those dots if you want just to just to match them up a little bit. So yeah, I don't I don't know which one's my favourite. I don't know. They're they're all good. They're all good. Mace Windu. I I think I like the, all the extra on the Tartakovsky one. To be honest, I, don't know, I like the armor. I like the look, but I like that this one's going to fit in nicely with like Anakin and Obi Wan, Ahsoka, my Plo Koon custom, which I should do a video of if you if you're interested. Oh um, I'll do a bit of a video on on my custom Plo Koon. From the Clone Wars, which, you know, by no, by no means complete, but um, I'll have to have a look at it anyway. Anyway, so articulation: he has a ball joint in the head, ball joint in the neck, ball hinge in the shoulders with a butterfly joint in the middle. He has a ball hinge in the elbows, uh, in and out ball joint on the left wrist, up and down ball hinge on the right wrist. He's got the torso joint there, obviously. He's got the uh, the ball and socket in the thighs. He's got the swivel at the top of the thighs there. Double joints in the knees. Uh, ball hinge in the ankles. And the rocker at the feet as well. So he's going to look good standing up there with the, uh, with the other versions of the 2008 Clone Wars. And if you are looking forward to Clone Wars Thursday throwback this week on my channel, I will be looking at uh, Mace Windu as well just to... Just to stick with the theme, you know? I might even do a bit of comparisons in that video to some of the others. So there we go. Three maces, the three amigos, amigos. We have Mace and his clone trooper. They're gonna look good side by side. I, I, yeah, there's something about the clone, clone sort of inspired armor. I like that a lot. Um, yeah, if you're new to the channel, I'd appreciate it if you subscribe, subscribe, like the video, give it a thumbs up, all that cool stuff. Even check out um, my memberships video. I do offer memberships on my channel. Really helps me out. Big support. I appreciate everyone that already does. Um, yeah, we'll see you again for some more videos very soon. Until then, may the force be with you always.